Theology in the Christian church almost always develops in response to felt needs and real life problems. The felt needs and real life problems of today's world Christian community are considerably different than they have been historically for uh, the Western world. When we see other Christian communities, other Christian believers of real integrity, real effectiveness, real dedication to God, who yet are different than ourselves, think differently, act differently, have different assumptions, we're in a position, I think, to learn something not only about ourselves and about those others, but about God who loves diversity, God who loves variety. So I'm, I'm hoping that uh, as this kind of study has been for me for a, a number of years, I hope that it can be refreshing, informative, but also cause reflection. The Christian religion is a religion about crossing uh, cultural boundaries. God crossed the huge gap to become incarnate as a human, but then human believers move from place to place, and the Christian gospel is always, as, as Andrew Wall says, always becoming at home in individual places at the same time as it's calling people out of individual places and, and the pilgrim journeys. The Christian gospel is uh, democratic in the extreme, concerning individuals, but also concerning cultures. So the course this summer aims to sketch the tremendous changes that have taken place in the world Christian picture over the last 100, 150 years. We have uh, African Christian populations that are larger today than the world Christian population in 1900. The Lord is a lot bigger than any one of us, and when we see the manifestations of His grace in many different places, many different communities, many different cultures, I think we get a bigger sense of who God is and what God has accomplished in the world. Mm -hmm.